Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the 21-piece brake caliber windback kit from uh, Capri Tools. This was purchased recently from Amazon because I thought it was time to actually own this kit rather than renting it from the auto parts store every time I needed to do a brake job, which most auto parts stores actually do have kits like this that are available for free. Not usually 21-piece though, usually smaller. And I just thought, you know, for the price that you can get these at these days, they're cheap enough, so I thought I would invest in a set to have in my garage. So, this kit here is 21 pieces, comes shrink wrapped, and you can get this through Amazon Prime. This is on the slightly more expensive side of some of the brake wind back sets. One of the things I liked, it, or one of the things I thought was at least interesting about this, was this actually looked from the pictures, fundamentally different than all the ones that look like basically knockoffs of Astro Pneumatic uh, windback sets. And so once you take the sleeve off, if we look at this, our part number is 21007. The same company also makes a kit with fewer pieces, but for the difference in price, you might as well get the larger set. I don't see any reason to buy the smaller set because you never know what you're going to end up with between your vehicles now and vehicles in the future. And so here's what the packaging looks like. And if we look on the end here, this is made in Taiwan. No surprise about that. It's interesting. I got this in 2018, and it says copyright 2015 on it, as well as the manufacturer's information here and your safety warnings that tools can be dangerous. Yada, yada, yada. So let's see what we get actually in the package. Nice plastic latches, I like that, as opposed to some cheap flimsy ones. A hinged case in the back, foam on top, and then we have all of our uh, wind back adapters. Now one quick thing about these adapters, there's one specific one that's missing, and that's going to be a three pin one that you might find on VW or Audi. And I understand, I think some Renaults might use a three pin as well. I'm not completely sure to be able to verify that. And so we've got, these are actually pretty thick pieces compared to some of the ones I've used from auto parts stores. I've definitely used ones that have had thinner adapters. You have to choose the adapter that matches your vehicle. There is no reference chart here, but it's a simple process of trial and error. And this has the left and right hand wind back screws. Uh, certain vehicles require a left-hand uh, drive on one of the uh, rear wheels when you're winding back the parking brake. And so if we look here, this actually says left on there, if you can see that. Although it's interesting that it came in the box on the right. So I'm going to see about reversing that because it makes sense to me that the left-hand one would be on the left side. So we'll do that if it's perfect and the right one is marked right. Although I'm suspicious that this is going to wear off with just a little bit of time. Obviously you can check that just by simply spinning it yourself there. So I think I'll put the right hand one on the right side. Not a big deal. And so we've got backing plates. So when it comes to assembling these, usually slide the backing plate on over the rear end like that. This goes up one side of the caliber and then you pick the matching adapter for the vehicle you're working on. Holds on like that. And now use this to wind back the parking brake on your rear brakes. You know, having the right tool. There's other ways you can do this by using uh, needle nose pliers on front brakes. You can usually, usually use a flat plate as opposed to these actual pinned plates. So that's where you might use possibly the number three, although I know officially it's got a different use. I think there's some GMs that have just a flat one or some older ones, but you can use this. I've used things like this in the past to wind back front ones. All depends on the diameter. Now I have seen, I can't confirm this, I've seen on eBay certain adapters that have three pins for VW or for Audi, and I can't confirm if they're, if they're compatible with this specific pin size here. Let's take a look at what these pin sizes exactly are. Okay, so looking at these here from side to side, that measures one inch from outside to outside. I'm sorry. 
So if we measure these from the outside of pin to outside of pin, it's coming in at one inch. If we go between the two pins, that's coming in at half an inch. And the diameter of each of these pins here is about a quarter inch. And so there may be some vehicles that you can actually just use this straight away without an adapter as an extra two pin set. There's obviously a retaining magnet here that helps to hold these adapters in place. This adapter here measures about three eighths of an, just a touch under three eighths of an inch thick. Although it seems like some of the adapters are a little thinner than others. We obviously you got some other ones here that have other variations. I think some of the older sobs, like the 9000, some other ones, correct me here, that use the hex in the center. Obviously you could just use a uh, hex adapter on a ratchet. And then there's also magic adapter number five. If you look on the back side here, you see there's no pins there. And so this is a set for a 3 8 ratchet. I could put one of these other adapters on there just to straight up use a 3 8 ratchet as my mechanism if for some reason this doesn't get in there the way that you need it. You have this one as a, I guess you call it a backup set of pins, or in case something fails on this, you've got this as a extra as a get out of jail free card. Although the magnetic, the magnetic hold of the adapter onto this is not quite as good as what's on the actual proper windback screw here. And so that's a look at the kit from Capri. Now let's take a look at this in action on my Saab 97X. To wind back the front brakes on an 08 Saab 97X, Trailblazer and others, and this one goes flat uh, with no pin here because there's no parking brake in the front. And just the and it's the number one adapter on the back. So that'll allow me to press the caliper back into the brake carrier.